Bro, you don't show up. No, no, up. please, please, please don't, don't talk like the, the respect with me now. Come on. No, but come, come to me. We talk. I did hear him talking. Before, I'm saying before. Okay, okay. I'm saying when you called the score, yes, I turned around right. and then you said it in Spanish. I turned around and said 13. That's too quick. The, 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 no, he's not on the Spanish. Okay. No, there's definitely some spice now. That's for sure. Gracias, gracias. Munar out of shot, chipping in. <laughs> Kokonakis didn't like it. celebration because he's won his very first main draw match here at the Madrid Masters. Yao Munar coming up with two big tie breaks. And the handbags continue. Well, that all went back to the time violation that the Nasi Kokonakis received a little earlier on in the set, just before he broke for a 5 2 lead. Big hitting again. Unbelievable scenes on a Rancho Sanchez Stadium. Goodness, oh my word. The forehand out of this world from Taylor Fritz just when it seemed that Junk had all pretty much wrapped up this match. And he's missed it long. Shirt and mouth once again. And he's gone long again. Will challenge, but more hope than expectation. On the left baseline, the ball was gone out. Surely going to be another match point chance for Jean. And that's what Taylor Fritz again. He relies so heavily on the first serve, on the add point. He went with a kicker, went with a percentage one, didn't really do much with it, and then missed the first serve on the deuce. So really, that's what sets up his points. And with a second serve, he just rolls it in, and it's a 50-50 point. Point number two. The tie break. Tiger does it again for the third consecutive match. Zhang Zhizhen has got over the line and he's done it in remarkable style. He beats a top 10 player for the first time in his career. Adding Taylor Fritz to his list of victims this week. Cam Nori, Denis Shapovalov suffered the same fate. 
The fairy tale run continues for the man ranked 99 in the world. Too late. Yeah, I mean, you've hit the shot. I was waiting you to stop it, but you did not stop it. If you would stop it on time, I will allow the challenge. Uh oh. I look to you, Alejandro. I was looking to you. I, I expected what you. I you will. I, will, I would expect I you play it. You waited the, until it went outside. Then you challenge it. That's too late. Bound. I said before challenge. Before yeah, bound. because you saw it. It was going before out. Bound. No, not for and me. No, no, before bound. Alejandro. And what happened? We replayed after the the match. You saw what happened? That is no for you. What happened? Well, I was defending for you. What? Well, I, Alejandro, I have to make a judgment, and this is my judgment. Yes, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, but this is how I saw it. I cannot tell you more than this. I have to make a decision in split second. Well, it's not I have to. I told you, I expected that you will challenge, but you did not challenge. You play it, and then you challenge. Long. Yeah, Sinner just saying to Bernardes, that's twice now that Runa has... Well, did he hit him on that occasion? I think he might have. Just have a look at this. Point obviously over, Runa still hits the forehand and Sinner having to duck for cover. It happened earlier in the match as well.
Don't often see that. Devlitz for Kina thinks the serve was long. He's pretty sure about it, in fact. We'll have another challenge. And it's hit the back of the line. The original call will stand. Another one that the Spaniard isn't happy about, though. Now the call will stand 4 3. Carlos Bernardes says that ADF, not a happy man. That's the supervisor. Well, I think he's, he's not going to continue until the supervisor comes here. Challenge system. He's not happy with the call that they have over there. And uh, I confirm with them, I ask them again, is that the mark? Because sometimes they show the different ones. They said, no, that is the mark. That's what they show. Well, the room is ready to go. Douglas Fokina isn't going to win this one, try as he might. Well, we didn't see, but I just wonder if he's actually just swept away the mark, the, the contentious mark. I think he swept it away, and the, the crowd did not like that. Well, I thought there could be some spice in this one, Candy, <laughs> and uh, that is certainly going to be the case. And it isn't really between the players, is it? It's between the challenge system and Alejandro Devnovich for Kina. And, and now the crowd in Holgaruna, yes. after we just scrubbed that mark, <laughs> they are going to get after him here. Yeah, not a wise move to antagonize the Spanish crowd. It's funny because you know, Runa has this ability so far in his young career to just attract a bit of controversy, doesn't he? You know, in his mind, he's probably not done anything wrong there. In fact, he hasn't really, has he? But maybe just hasn't read just the room. Leave it. the mark until the argument is settled. This is now... This is intense. This is partisan. Oh, spectacular, isn't it? It's more a disguise as first class. <laughs> See, the shake of the head, he, he just can't understand why they're against him here. It just I can say it's nothing sinister, but just maybe a lack of sort of experience in the moment. It's naive, isn't it? Yeah, he's missed it. First double fall of the match. It couldn't come at a worse time for Holger Runa. I didn't do anything. I'm going to tell you one thing, and that's it for the whole match. I told you once in, in Monte Carlo that my dad was quiet. Yeah, I just no, 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 no. There are crowds yeah. that. You cannot control if you do things like that. But I didn't do anything today. Well, for them, what you did, because he was complaining, yes, was this... Minutes. This was the, Well, they will be the worst if you keep doing. If you just play tennis, they don't do anything else. But if that's you, what I did. If you, yeah. if you do that... Did I complain to you one time? No, we don't need to complain. No. 
I'm just trying to help you to go through this because I have experience here that you cannot play if they start to do it. But I didn't do anything. No. For them, what you did with the race in the mark was kind of a provocation. But there was no reason for that. Okay. But okay? Drop shot again, it wasn't the best, but it was good enough. And he's got over the line in a three hour battle. A roller coaster ride, a match full of twists and turns. It's the fourth top 10 win of Alejandro Davidovic Fakina's career. And you can see what it means to him. An enormous effort. And he still has energy for a big celebration. He's into the round of 16. Thinks it's long. He stopped the point because the forehand landed in. Mohammed was on his way. But it's good. Once the chair umpires made up their minds, they're not going to change it. Clearly, it's furious that that's been called good, but he's got to suck it up at times. But this is uh, another test for the youngster. Djokovic seems locked in now. First job is to calm down. Goodness me, this is a match that's burst into life. <laughs> Didn't see this coming. No. more just unfortunate I don't think that was deliberate Djokovic clearly unimpressed with the fact that Norris tagged him there with the overhead and he's got the break back yeah I agree I don't think there's any malice in this at all from Norris he, he did apologise I don't actually think Norris even saw Djokovic turn his back exactly but Djokovic really was not happy was he there and a big stare back at Norris, as you can see, immediately apologised. I mean, for me, Norris looking at the ball there, it's break points, he's yeah. focusing on the overhead. Big 
celebration. Conduce tre giochi a due, three game to two. Novak giving him a bit of a stare there. Novak Djokovic moves into his 17th successive quarterfinal here. A handshake, a touch on the frosty side. I don't think Novak will be too fussed about uh, events during the match. It's all about getting his hands on this trophy for a seventh time. Still on track. The current world number one. And Michael Ebert, well, he's going to be gone here. I think this is done. You can't do that. Well, that was a miscue, but it works out. Sidewinder off the frame. In fact, he thinks it's gone wide. Asking for the mark to be checked, but maybe the umpire Rogerio Santos feeling he's too late here, having already missed. <laughs> Stefan Courtois, the supervisor, is the gentleman he's talking. Yesterday, I hit a serve against Gasquet. He walked over to the other side, and then he was still allowed to ask for a mark to be checked. I hit this ball, I take down, and you tell me you're not even going to come down and check the mark. Okay, so show, show me the mark then. Show me the mark. What do you mean you looked at the other side? You saw it clearly jump, uh, bounce on the line. So show me the mark on the line. So whenever a mark comes, if it's over there, you're going to say, I saw it good, I'm not going to go down and check it. I've never witnessed that a ref says, I'm not going to go down and check the mark. No, it doesn't happen. So why are you not taking why are you not taking the mark I'm it's giving to you? Already, okay? already. He has found and Michael Ebert. Well he's gonna be gone here. I think this is done. You can't do that. Wait, that's gonna be before 100%. Sorry, 100%, 100%. I would like to have a choice. You don't give me a choice. Sorry. Yeah. I mean, there was no doubt once he'd done that. He actually referenced the Zverev incident from the last couple of years, asking, did he get disqualified? Well, this time, Eva will.